Welcome back to my channel or welcome to if this is your first time here. Um, if you watched my last video, I am in the middle of a lupus flare. That's why my hair looks <laughs> like such a mess and I look just disheveled. Honestly, um, I need to take a shower and do an everything shower. I need to um, brush out my hair and do everything like that. But I'm, I, I'm still struggling like I was last week. And I was hoping that I was gonna be able to give you a video of me doing better, but this is the honest, authentic, place that I'm at right now. I am still struggling. Um, I'm still having pain and um, brain fog and all that stuff that accompanies it. I really don't want to be in bed anymore. It's been over a week of me being in bed, no, probably about a week, I don't know. At this point, I've lost uh, track of time, if I'm being completely honest. I am just ready to be at a place where I feel um, at least at my baseline of health. Um, I do struggle pretty much every day, but where I'm at right now, it's just, I'm, in like this intolerable space and I'm just like so sluggish and even right now I'm sitting on a cushion on a stool and it hurts so much so I am actually just gonna do my hygiene brush my teeth um and whatever else in it probably just end up back in bed I am really nervous because I do need to do my hair. It is so knotted and I have to brush it out and that's gonna cause more pain. But then if I don't do it, it's gonna be nearly impossible to do later. So I'm at this like, it's kind of like I am. I have no other choice but to take care of it. And we will see how that goes. <laughs> I am just, I feel so out of it. And I honestly, like, don't know why I keep on recording myself. I'm like, does anybody want to see this? But maybe it's good for me to look back on too. So when I make progress, I can be like, oh, dang, you made it out of that. You're, you, you're doing better. Uh, at least I can smile a little bit, right? Like, I don't always feel like, kind of like where I'm able to see the, I don't know if it's the silly side or like the bright side or whatever side of it, like the like lightheartedness of it. Sometimes I'm just so in my feelings and it's so difficult to get through what I'm feeling because of my um, lupus or chronic illnesses. So... Oh, man. I also need to update you guys because I ended up getting Botox for my TMJ. So I get it for my migraines, but I was able to get it for my TMJ as well. And um, as of right now, I cannot feel the benefits. Like my jaw is still hurting, but I'm hoping to get to the point where when my kids are coming in. either a kid or a dog that I shouldn't have back like that that's Joe like that's a perfect example of like how some movements that like normal people do don't hurt them but that's I'm gonna pay for that not only did that hurt my butt but it hurt my back and my neck okay so what was I saying I think we just lost that one maybe if I rewatch it and come back to it um, I'll be able to talk about it because I don't, oh, my TMJ. I haven't felt the benefits of it just yet, but I'm really excited to hopefully not get those headaches and maybe take less pain meds. That would be amazing. But right now I'm going to brush my teeth and try to get myself 
like resting in bed I have to brush out my hair and I'm dreading it and then I have to shower tonight and that's gonna be a whole nother like oh okay I hope you guys are doing okay and if you're going through a flare right now I am with you you're not alone we're gonna get through this I'm fighting okay so I did not get that everything shower like I had planned last night it just wasn't gonna happen however tonight i think it's the night i already brushed out my hair i know it looks kind of weird but um i've learned to brush my hair out even though i have curly hair um it does less breakage when you brush it out um before you go in the shower i used to only do it when it was wet in the shower i don't know why i'm telling you guys this you guys don't care but um i'm going i'm going to go in there i am hyping myself up I've been again sitting around all day and I'm trying to like not be hard on myself because I am so frustrated. I don't even know how to tell you how tired I am of sitting in my bed, but I am I am going to get that shower. I am going to go feel fresher and feel feel just like wash this off of me <laughs> the 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 feeling of like defeat no just feeling of not feeling well um I need to uh, get my head together and stop mentally beating myself up for being chronically ill for my disease kicking my butt right now and I'm I, I feel like I've already said I should be feeling better so the time time is up I should be fine right now like I I am past my deadline of being allowed to be in a flare and I have to remind myself that it's really not up to me yet, but it really feels so frustrating because I can't it's like when you have a cold you have cold and you're expected to have it for three to five days maybe two weeks and so you're like okay I'm gonna be sick and then you're gonna gradually start feeling better but when you have a disease like lupus you really don't have that timetable it's like it can be a day it could be uh, two days it can be a week months years um, you you really have no say but to do all of your remedies and take your meds and rest and hope that the disease stops attacking your body and you're able to start living your life the way that you want to so that's like what i am going through mentally it's difficult you know when you struggle to even take a shower you know it, that's just like a simple basic thing of of life that I am struggling to do and I know a lot of spoonies can relate to that that it's like feels like such a chore and then it's like so and when you have a family it's like okay I'm doing that for myself but like what have I done for them? How could I have, how, how have I contributed? How have I, how have I been any help at all? Um, so yeah, <laughs> I look like such a mess. My goodness. You know, I realized in the last video and I was talking about how weird it feels to put this on camera. I realized that later on I'm going to be able to look at this and hopefully I'll see the progress that I have made because that's the goal, right? Is to get better and to see improvement. And if I'm putting this out there and I get better, great. And if I regress, you know, I can see where I was too. It's kind of both. Oh, you can see my pain meds in the backs just sagooch on over here I think I am ready I think I have talked myself into that shower 
and I am going to get my hair done. I'm going to do it. Next time you see me, my hair will be down and washed. I promise. Oh my goodness. I forgot to mention something too. I am having crazy mouth sores right now. Um, they hurt so bad and I'm, I'm just, that's part of it. I know, but like, why that too? Mouth sores too? Um, and of course I have the nausea and that's one of the reasons why I have to really work myself up to like get in the shower because any exertion, I start feeling really nauseous. So that's, I, I ate, that's a good thing. I did eat. I haven't been eating a lot, but I did eat. So now I have to actually get my body up and get in the shower. And I know that's going to cause some nausea, but like I said, I'm going to be back and my hair is going to be down. You'll see. You may not be able to tell because my hair is messy because I just got up, but I did my hair. It's not knotted anymore. Yes. <laughs> Gotta celebrate those small wins. Hold on. <laughs> that kind of used a lot of my energy, but I got the shower done, guys. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. I have to celebrate those small wins. Holy smokes. So right now what you're seeing is pots. My heart elevates like crazy. Now I'm going to get ready. I probably still will end up in bed. I have to fix my nails because two of them broke and I need to make it right because it drives me crazy when they're not. But um, I will be just hanging out in my room unless some miracle happens and I'm feeling amazing or not even amazing, like where I'm able to tolerate this and I can um, get up and do stuff. Just sitting down again on the, my stool is cushy. My um, tailbone is hurting really bad. I have been wearing compression shorts, trying to like make it feel better. It, feel, it feels a lot better when it's everything's compressed, but um, I am just, it's, that's about, that's about accurate. That's about where I feel. <laughs> I'm going to get ready, just do my regular daily hygiene, and I will be resting. I mean, that, that is the cycle. It's just continues and continues and continues and I know I've said this before but it feels so weird recording it because I'm like is this even interesting but if anything this will be something for me to look back on I'm definitely not like a aesthetic person that is going to show you all these pretty stuff on this channel it's honestly raw and ugly and you're going to see things that are flawed, me, <laughs> that are flawed and um, struggling and all of those adjectives. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Let me get myself together. Well, as much as I can before I just go and sit in bed. I was having difficulty yesterday mentally a lot feeling I'm gonna say the word like a loser for sitting around I felt like the biggest loser and the guilt that I felt was so like overwhelming because all I can do is 
sit around. And I have to remind myself that I am resting because I am trying to heal. But it's not an easy concept to wrap your head around, even no longer how long you've gone through this. But I'm trying. I'm, I'm really trying. I'm trying to talk myself through it. I journaled and I um, talked to my husband and just really tried to work it out in my head. Okay, now let me go get ready. We're in the next day and I am so excited to be able to say that I am starting to feel some improvements. Sorry if you hear my kids out there, um, they're talking, but I am, I cannot tell you, oh my hair is just like, I cannot tell you how exciting it is to just feel even the slightest of improvements. And I am just hoping with all my might that it continues um, I started feeling it a little bit of like a difference last night and I was like, okay, um, what is on my wall? I don't know what that was. I don't even remember what I was at. Okay, I was saying that I definitely felt some slight improvements. Um, that hurt my wrist. Um, and I am I, I'm just hopeful that it continues. It is a big, big deal to even just feel a little better. It's not even, I still have to take medicine, but the medicine's working. So it's not just taking off the edge, it actually makes me feel better. So that's like the really exciting thing is because I was taking medicine and it wasn't making me feel anything but where I could kind of tolerate what I was going through and I wasn't in complete agony. But now I'm at the point where I take the medicine and I'm like, oh, I can move a little more. Or I can get up and be a little active. And that's a really huge, huge difference. So I'm going to rest still today so I can keep up whatever needs to like adjust and heal. I, I honestly want to get up. I want to clean. I want to hang out with my kids. I want to do all this stuff. But I know that is not what I need to be doing. So I am going to definitely take my time, go slow, and relax. I did fix my nails and they're back to all being done. And um, I'll probably check in one more time because... Let's see. I want I want to update you guys to see if it's uh, continuing or if it was just for the moment. Let's let's really really hope that it continues. Okay, guys. Here's the update. Um, it's been a few days. I am feeling like the meds are still working, but I'm still having a lot of pain. So I'll take it rather than taking the meds and them not really. Um, doing anything but take the edge off as you can see I am in bed I had a doctor's appointment today I got some weird news that I'm trying to like dissect and like it was just so, it was I went in for something and it just I, of course with me it had to be complicated so um, luckily my husband was there and he was just like it's everything's gonna be fine it's like it's cool it's all right so um that's that um i am just gonna continue to rest i am just happy that the flare is manageable now i still need to rest a lot which is frustrating but i'm able to feel relief and that is something i'm very grateful for so I will take it and I know that with time, I'll just heal more and more. I'm very tired right now. Uh, I went out and I, as you know, I've been in my room resting for the past couple weeks. So I'm definitely going to take some time right now and relax. So...
see my daughter's pillow. She's sitting right there trying to be quiet and not get on camera. But usually she tries to make a noise of some sort so we know she's here. So I just thought I would acknowledge her presence. <laughs> there she is. I am... I'm going to... I'm going to rest now. I hope you guys are having a good day or night. Take care.